Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll show you how to quickly send any file larger than 25 megabytes in Gmail. Let's get straight into it. You're watching a large video file that I want to send by email in Gmail. The file name is sunset.mp4 and it's over 100 megabytes in size. Gmail has a strict size limit of 25 gigabytes for any emails that are sent. So if your file is larger than 25 megabytes like this one, then we'll have to use a special method in Gmail to send the file. And at the end of this guide, I'll also explain how to make sure that anyone you send your large file to can get access to it and share it. Let me show you how this file can be sent using Gmail. So we're logged into Google and Gmail. Let's start by opening a new blank email. I'll do that by clicking on the Compose icon in the top left of the inbox. As Gmail will not allow us to send emails over 25 megabytes, we need to upload the large file we want to send to Google Drive. Once we do that, we can then send a link to the file through Gmail that anyone can view. To access Google Drive and add files from the Compose window in Gmail, we need to choose the Google Drive icon in the toolbar of the email. Let's click on that now. If you've already uploaded your file to Google Drive, the quickest way to find it is to use the search bar at the top of the Insert Files window. Alternatively, you can browse for your file or look in your recent files to add it. If, however, you still need to add your large file to Google Drive, you can do this by choosing the Upload option from the top bar in this window. There are two ways to add my large file to Google Drive. If you have the files stored locally on your desktop, you can see them by reducing the size of the Gmail window. We can do this by clicking on the Reduce Window Size option in your browser. I'm using a Mac, so this option is on the left of the window, but if you're using Windows, it'll be on the right. You can select your video by clicking on it once. And then, holding the left mouse button down, we can simply drag the file to the Drag Files Here space shown in Gmail. You'll see a copy of the file move with your mouse pointer, and you know it's good to add when the Gmail Insert File window turns blue as you move your mouse over it. Release the left mouse button to add the video, and you'll see the file is then added to the list for upload to Gmail. You can see an alternative way to add files to Google Drive if you click on the Add More Files button. A file picker window is then opened. As before, I can choose to add a single file, or I can select a number of files in one selection. To add these videos, I then click on the Open button in the bottom right of the window. And to finally upload the files to Google Drive and add the links to those files to my email in Gmail, I'll then click on the blue Upload button. Depending on the size of the files you're adding, it may take a little while for the videos to be uploaded to Google Drive. But once that's complete, the links to the files will be added to the email. Uploading to Google Drive in this way will also compress the video and make it smaller, which means it will be faster to send. I'll quickly add an email recipient and title for this email, and click on the Send button to send it. Gmail will then ask me to decide what access I want to give to the attachments. As I'm sending to a non-Gmail user, I have to turn link sharing on, so that anyone with the link can view the attachments in the email. This means that whoever I send the email to can then forward on that email to anyone else, and they will also be able to view the video file attachment. To finally send this email, I now just need to click on the send link, and Gmail confirms that the email has been sent. I hope you found this Woggle guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe so that other users can find it too. Thanks so much for watching.